I went from condos to pops house, on calls now bus routes, and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what's so crazy though, Bosco? When, when I when, um y'all both came in for the first interview that y'all had, you and Cowboy together. You was a big uh, crib back up, you know what I'm saying? Saying good things like about him, you know, getting out of jail and changing and stuff like that. I was shocked when I saw it. I'm like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? You know uh, Bosco I, and Crip Mac. I, I, Bosco, I didn't know what. I thought Bosco was saying good stuff about him. I don't know. It was. Is it something that I don't know? Is it a past beef? That's what I thought. Is it a past beef? Because I already yeah. like, bro. I don't harp on shit. I'm a grown ass man. I don't be harping on shit. But yeah, yeah. his first interview, first day home. He first the first day out. He does an interview. The first thing he does is mention me. Fuck me. Fuck Costco and fuck Custer and all the shit that he say. Like, bro, the first thing he does is mention me. I wasn't even tripping. I just had did an interview with China Mac. Yeah. Where I did a live stream with China Mac, bigging him up. Like, you know what I mean? Giving the nigga props and shit. But, and I did it on your show. Like, on nothing or something. Like, but. The nigga, like, you know what I mean? He chose to come home and be on bullshit over the fat ass taco lady. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like the little fat ass taco lady. Uh, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, so yeah. that's what it's about there. You know, he bad, you clout this girl, so, okay? If, I mean, at least they go to square it out. But like she be running in. her mouth, though. I wouldn't have yeah. knew nothing about her girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have yeah. knew that's nothing all good. about her. I mean, shit, it just, I mean, that's, you know, they got beef, you know. You know, like I said, at one point in time, you know, it was it was one way and shit. Hey, you feel I'm a custer, then, hey, it's only one way to prove that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But one thing, I know for a fact, stepping up in the ring, it proved a nigga not a custer. A buster, you know what I mean? I don't do with the, you know, I see the custard shit and I see niggas speaking the lingo, they got it down packed, you know, that's just, that's just cool, but, you know, uh, you know, just stick to the lingo right when you saying custard, when you saying bacon back, being boo, you know, I'm around bloods all day and I don't, I don't take it no way, you know what yeah. I mean? You feel me? But it's ain't talking, let's, uh, let's start to, uh, you know, respect each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because some other people might not take it that way. Yeah. So let's start to respect each other as black men, and, and you know, uh, you know, be man enough to forget where you came from. You know, like I said, my my boy from Inglewood wrote up me the other day. He was like, you know, I renounce, you know, Inglewood families, uh, you know, irreparable. You know what I mean? But he said I'm still over there and I'm still doing my pressing my line. I'm pressing God first, yeah. and, and it take a it take a man to say, you know what, I ain't doing that. I'm gonna do this. Regardless of what anybody got to say, you know, I'm that nigga though. Like I said, I'm all, I, I squabble the motherfucker up just because I go to church every week don't mean I won't beat your ass. So one thing about L.A. and L.A. niggas that you don't know, us gangbangers, we going to match your energy. You come with respect, you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. You come with the knife play, you're going to get it. You come with the gun play. Whatever your energy is, we're going to match it. You come with respectable energy, you're gonna get respect. And if you don't get it, then you demand your respect or you just go about your way. You feel me? If you're around somebody that's disrespectful, you got two choices, either bicker with this motherfucker, collide with this motherfucker, or go about your way. Mm. You got a couple choices. Put your pride down, you know what? Motherfucker ain't put their hands on me, motherfucker talking all that, oh, you bitch ass nigga. Okay, but you 90 yards away, so therefore let me jump in my shit and go. I ain't a coward for doing that, you know what I mean? Because when I walk over and beat your ass, I know I'm going to jail. When I get mad and this the hat come off, I'm going to jail for sure. Yeah. That's the end result. I'm going to jail. Yeah. It's, it's a known fact. When I get mad, I know where I'm ending up. When I'm in the back of the car, take me home. I know the drill when I go there. And I look at all these niggas talking about their jailhouse stories. But if you look at their stories, they was getting lined up. My generation, we didn't get lined up. We was the liner uppers. You feel me? Yeah. We don't, you don't get lined up. You know, you come in and you see, homie, I mean, what the fuck you doing on the floor? They ain't no bed. Get your ass up, nigga. Give me this bed. Fuck you doing under the bed. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Niggas talk that shit, but a real nigga like me coming in, I'll get you off the floor, nigga. I'll get you a bed. Yeah. I was, you was on the floor till I got there, nigga. You and you, get up off these beds, nigga. Get your ass up, what the fuck you doing on the floor? Yeah. You feel me? So they talk that shit, but they get lined up. They took them face because they had to. When you go to jail, you got to. Right now you got a choice and your options. No, no, I, I ain't taking that fade. 
He yeah. did this, so I ain't gonna do that. I ain't taking the fade. You ain't had no choice on 2000 flow. You feel me? So when you go to jail, you ain't got no choice. So don't tell me about your jailhouse experiences where you didn't have no choice. Yeah. Oh yeah, you took a fade on 2000 floor. Yeah, you, you, you had no choice. You didn't, you wasn't the one say, I need. <laughs> it was five other niggas say, yeah, 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 they run that. Yeah, they ran me six fades, what? Hey, you talking about? As soon as I as soon as I walk in the build, nigga, and I see four niggas over there taking their shirts off, nigga, I'm socking the first two niggas. We getting, up. I'm not even, I'm not even taking all in phase. You're not gonna run me. As soon as I, I'm gonna know I'm in the wrong dorm five minutes after being there. As soon as I get in, I'm peeling out the shirt immediately, throwing it, throwing my bunk over there, and I'm going to the back wall. On my way there, I see too many niggas taking off shirts. I'm taking off, nigga. They gonna have to get this shit over with. I'm taking off. I'm like going back to taking 19 phase. I'm in the wrong dorm. We're gonna end, we gonna end this, nigga, as soon as I'm coming through the bars, nigga. We're gonna start this off immediately. <laughs> you feel me? I'm in the wrong dorm. Immediately. Gonna be none of that bullshit. I know I'm here five minutes after that dorm. Where you from, nigga? If I gotta do a nigga on hood, nigga, I'm from Wooty Wop, whatever it may be, I'm gonna make an announcement. Anybody got any issues? Yeah. I'm tired. I'm about to go lay down. <laughs> First five minutes. So five minutes, five minutes in, the, in the, you know, yeah, yeah. I done been in dorms, number down moves, and down moves come back from court like that. Now they call me Mac. What up, Mac? That the niggas ain't line you up like shit. Not that they see me do them sixty pull ups, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. <laughs> shit, like nigga. <laughs> shit, nigga. All right. You know what I mean? They, I, I see niggas pick and choose their politics. Yeah, yeah. Don't pick and choose. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have them choices, man. I, you, I look at some of the big niggas I squabbled. I was in high school. I was that 15, 60 year old nigga squabbling some big old niggas. Yeah. Let me just say, oh man, he too big. Let me have said that that day. That's why this nigga ain't big. I wouldn't be from the hood to this day had I turned yeah. down some shit. Big, you know what I mean? Big yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's why I got respect for the way that y'all y'all handling it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, hey, we gonna big take big the fade. You ain't looking at it like, you know, uh, Crip Bank uh, is a big nigga. Nah, you like, hey, we can big, we can handle big, that. Big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know how, how long how long did it take for you to get that call uh, 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 from uh, uh, 11 11? You know what I'm saying? On, uh, I mean, hey, let's it. set up this fight. You know next what I'm saying? Day. Next day. They were they were they was on it like, hey, let's set it up and everything. Like, okay, okay, next, next day. day, wow. Uh, and that's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the way to go. You know, like you always say, become me. Hey, talk and take a fade. This way, this is the way to go. You know, he had an issue. You know, so hey, let's go on and handle it, and you know, go from there with. It.